What's going on everybody? Nick from 6 8 Fishing here and welcome back to another fishing adventure. I am beyond excited for today's episode because I am heading to a tiny creek that is almost two hours away. Now a lot of you might be asking, Nick, why are you heading to a tiny creek that is almost two hours away? Well, this is not just any tiny creek. This is a very, very special fishing location. This is actually a spot that I've been wanting to fish at for almost two years because it is one of very few locations in my area that holds wild rainbow trout, which is a dream catch for me. So I'm excited to get out there and hopefully catch one because I've heard that these things are very difficult to catch. All right, the creek is right over here. I believe there's a parking lot somewhere right up here. All right, guys, we finally made it. This has to be one of the most beautiful fishing locations that I've ever found. And the cool thing is, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one out here right now. My goal for today is simple, and that is to catch a wild rainbow trout. Let's get to it. From what I've read, it is very difficult to catch a trout out of this creek. So the key is to be very stealthy and target some of these deeper pools. I'm starting out with a 1 16th ounce rooster tail, a black with a gold blade. I also brought my fly rod, but I'm not very good at fly fishing and I'm afraid I'll spook the fish before I actually get a fly in front of one of their faces. There is a ton of life in this little creek. I'm seeing crawfish, little bait fish. So this uh, rooster tail should do a pretty good job today. There is a deep hole right here in front of me. I may only have one chance before spooking whatever fish might be in here. Okay, here we go. seeing a bunch of small fish in there, but I am not seeing any trout. I knew this was gonna be hard, but I'm starting to think it's a little bit harder than what I even thought. Here we go guys, fish on. Oh my God, it's a creek chub. Oh man, darn, I was excited. First fish of the day guys, it is not a wild rainbow trout, it is a creek chub. See you later buddy. That creek chub was by no means the fish that I was hoping to catch today, but I will take it because that means I will not be skunked. I'm still after that wild rainbow trout though. Oh, I've got a fish chasing it. Darn. I think the fish that I'm seeing chase my bait are creek chubs. I'm not too sure if there's any trout in this hole. There is a very cool fishing spot right here in front of me where the creek goes underneath the road. It looks like it's fairly deep, so I'm gonna try to sneak into casting distance so I can toss my spinner in there and see if there's any trout. There we go guys, fish on. Fish on. I think it's a trout, yes. Oh 
Oh my gosh, yes! Oh my gosh, you guys, this is a nice one. No way. I just caught my first wild rainbow trout. Yes! This is a really nice one. I was not expecting to catch any this big. That was incredible. This place is infamous for how difficult it is to actually catch a rainbow trout out of this creek. That fish right there is a monster for this tiny creek. I cannot believe I was just lucky enough to catch that beautiful wild rainbow trout. All right guys, I've given this spot about 15 minutes to cool down, so I'm gonna cast back in there and see if there are any more trout. Here we go. There we go, fish on. Holy cow. No way. Yes. You guys. Oh my gosh, I just caught another one. No way. What a beautiful, beautiful fish. See you later, buddy. Awesome. I was blown away after catching that first rainbow trout. I cannot believe I just caught another one, almost as big as the first one shortly afterwards. It's about 30 degrees out here today, so my goal is to work this spinner as slowly as I can. I'm basically just casting right up into that current and then slowly and steadily retrieving it back towards me. Oh, fish on. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is one of the coolest looking fish I've ever caught. No way. See you later, buddy. Catching a wild rainbow trout so close to where I live has been a bucket list fish for me. And I've been lucky enough to catch three of them today. So a little history about this creek. It was originally stocked in the early 1900s with rainbow trout, but it has not been stocked since. So that makes all of the fish in this creek 100% wild, which is very special for my area because there are only a handful of locations where you have the chance of catching a wild rainbow trout. I still think the pattern for today is to find the deepest holes in this creek. So I'm gonna keep moving. I've been fishing today for almost four hours and the sun is gonna set in about 30 minutes. I'm approximately two miles from where I parked. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around. I may fish that little spillway area for just a little bit, but I have a feeling I'm not gonna get back to the truck until it's dark out. All right guys, I made it back to the spillway where I've caught my only three trout of the day. Let's see if we can catch another. Oh, there we go, guys, fish on. Yes. Oh my gosh, this is another nice one.
see you later, buddy. I have definitely caught more than my fair share of beautiful wild rainbow trout today, so I'm gonna go ahead and start heading back to the truck. But what an awesome, awesome day of fishing. This has to be one of my favorite fishing days that I've ever had. This spot is just special. So I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along on this fishing adventure with me. I will catch you on the next one.